Welcome back to my channel, guys. It's time for another manga volume review. This is going to be on the second volume of Rent a Really Shy Girlfriend. Uh, in celebration of Rent a Girlfriend Season 2 coming out, and I'm reacting to that one, so make sure you catch the reactions. Um, wanted to review this one. Now, at the time of recording, Season 2 hasn't come out. Probably when this is posted, it's been like two, three weeks since it's been out. So uh, let's just review a little bit. Now, when this uh, manga itself or volume was finished, uh, it does say here in the back that the writer was just finishing volume 19 of Rent a Girlfriend. want you to keep that in mind because uh, it does go beyond the story itself that I am currently on the actual manga. I think on the manga, I'm like in volume four, which is way ahead of this. So this spinoff particularly follows the story of our rented girlfriend, Zumi Sakurazawa. Now, if you've never seen volume one, you can watch it on my channel. It's there. Before anything though, guys, if you have not done so by now, make sure you subscribe to my channel first and foremost. Please do that. If you haven't done so and then comment like and share that just helps tremendously as well thank you for those that have been uh regularly watching my videos yes i am basically back to posting stuff um money is still tight but working as best as possible to get things through so Rent a Really Shy Girl, again, is a spinoff of Rent a Girlfriend, and it's actually pretty well. It, it does follow a little bit of the stories that we get from Rent a Girlfriend, and one particular is going to be basically half of this of this series, uh, of this volume, sorry. And that is because Zumi has a secret um, date with someone who she's going to practice with. She's little Mizuhara basically went out of her way and found someone that Susumi can practice uh, so she can get her shyness out of the way. And this is Kazu, Kazuwa, which is the main protagonist in Rent a Girlfriend. So we do get a little bit of the story from the other series in here. And essentially, they go on a date and we get the perspective of Zumi. And Zumi essentially is nervous as she can be, but she's trying her best to basically be the best girlfriend for Kazuwa. And Kazuwa, as you can, if you guys have seen the first vo uh, first season or if you've read the volumes, um, ends up actually at one point ditching her for Mommy, who shows up very rudely and trying to like figure out why he's with her. And Zumi essentially, uh, it kind of destroys her a little bit there, but then she gets more confidence with the end of the date. And it's a very cute first half of the story. Now, the story does continue later on with her essentially going to this uh, restaurant for sushi, and that itself is so comical, uh, as well as uh, taking her dog for a walk and uh, her herself just going through the anxieties of the everyday life, right? In the restaurant, there's a little boy who keeps staring at her and and while walking her dog, there's other people with dogs that don't really help. Sorry, my, my daughter's knocking on my door. And then there's also uh, the anxiety of older kids and younger kids running towards your dog and thinking it's the cutest thing in the world. So there's a lot of struggles there, obviously, for someone who is socially awkward. Uh, the volume itself ends with her going on a girl date with, or not a girl date, but friend date with um, Ms. Mizuhara, which is our protagonist, essentially, in the Rent a Girlfriend series. And Mizuhara kind of helps her through it and essentially ends up being kind of a birthday guest situation where Mizuhara is helping Zumi through her stuff, but also celebrating Zumi's late birthday. Uh, the volume does end weirdly where uh, Zumi is supposed to go on a date with this person. Obviously, is a little boy, so we don't know what the heck is going on there. But that's really the end of the second volume. And that, in a nutshell, is that. Um, do I like the story? Yes, it's a great spinoff. If, sorry for my daughter, if this was a standalone story, I would say, no, this is not working. It's going too slow, maybe. 
or too many characters being presented that are not being built enough. But all these characters that we do see uh, that have their own kind of chapter, uh, like Mami and Mizuhara and Kazuha, these are characters that we know and love from the original Rent and Girlfriend. So because of that, I think it does work. It's a good spinoff. Uh, not a lot of spinoffs work. This one actually does. 6.5 is what I think it deserves for now. And uh, yeah, check out the first volume, second volume. I'm not sure if there's a third one already out, if there is. I might buy it eventually whenever money is better in my bank, but right now it's not. So uh, we'll eventually buy it. Thank you guys so much for your love and support. If you haven't done so by now, subscribe to the channel. Give some love by comments and liking and sharing. And I'll see you guys next time. Like always, don't be strangers. See you guys.